Hey guys, it's Coding Jesus here. Now welcome to my second episode of my C++ quiz series. In this series we go over several language concepts by posing quiz type problems. Now if you know the answer to the quiz, then good for you. But if you don't know the answer, then hopefully you've learned something, there's something to take away from this quiz, and that you become a better developer in general. So without further ado, let's jump into episode two's easy problem. Okay, so in front of us we have two very uh, benign classes here. They both have a destructor and a constructor, and the destructor prints a uppercase letter, and the destru sorry, the, yeah, the destructor prints an uppercase letter, and the constructor prints a lowercase letter. Now we have this statement here, and it's your job to figure out what will be printed. So pause this video, think about it, because in the next second I will be revealing the answer. All right, so hopefully you've paused the video. Hopefully you've thought about it. That's the whole point of this quiz, to think about it, to get the kind of gears turning in your head, to see whether you really understand what's going on, and if not, to learn something from it. Okay, so what will be printed here? Well, if you guess nothing will be printed, that's exactly right. Now, why is nothing printed here? Aren't we creating an object? No, we're not. What's actually going on here is that the compiler recognizes coding Jesus at this statement right here as a function declaration. Now, that's called C++'s most vexing parse. What do I mean by that? Well, anything that can be contrived or seen as a function declaration in C++ will be. So what this is really, what this is, what's being seen here is a function called coding Jesus at that takes in nothing and returns a coding Jesus at object. That's equivalent to something like this, a function that is being parsed as this really. Something, let's just say, like another example is returns void, hello world, and takes in nothing. So you can see this is a function declaration as well, and the compiler is seeing this is a function declaration as well. So both of these are function declarations. Now, what if I actually wanted to make an object? I, I don't want this vexing parse. Well, then you can use brace initialization as of C++11. You can also uh, initialize it as such, uh, coding gz. This is fine as well, it will also create an object, and as you can see, uh, what's being printed out here. And if you also want, you can use brace initialization like this, and that is totally fine. So that's the end of this quiz. Hopefully you learned something called C++'s most vexing parse. Anything that can be perceived as a function declaration is considered a function declaration, and that usually happens when you're trying to create an object, but you forget to not use brace uh, initialization, um, and you instead just, you know, tack on Two parentheses. Okay guys, that's the end of this video. Leave a thumbs up, leave a comment in the comment section below if you liked it, if you want to see more content, different content, and subscribe, it's free.